Hey gang, Daryl Davis coming here to talk about designing a life worth smiling about. So I want to talk to you about what I've learned in observing my cats and about having a life worth smiling about. Now, I'm not a big cat person, but I got a couple of cats that started falling in love with the little boogers. And um, let me share something I've learned about having a life worth smiling about. First of all, the thing about cats is they can, they can be very present to their surroundings. They sit on a ledge and they can stare out the window at a leaf for hours or a squirrel or a bird. They got that hump, that um, a purring thing. It's very relaxing and it's very relaxing. Matter of fact, a Scientific American, they published uh, this article about cats and the purring. They purr at 20 to 140 hertz and science has proven that that range of frequency actually is, uh, has physical benefits to human beings. Now, I think part of the reason why this is, when you look at a cat or you touch a cat and, you purr, and they're purring, brr, brr, and what happens is it, it's very calming. It's very calming for us. It's very similar to when we meditate. Now, there have been many studies that have shown, specifically, it's called meta, M-E-T, M-E-T-T-A, meta meditating, that this form of meditation actually helps increase your happiness baseline. And I think part of why that is, it slows down the brain and all those negative chemicals, the stress, see, as human beings, we're stressed, we, got, we look at our to-do list, what we got to do today and what we didn't do to, yesterday and what we got to do tomorrow and what very, calm down, slow down, be present, relax, meditate if you're into that, purr, something, calm down. All right, and second thing, cats, failure is not an option. If a cat's got a goal, to go from point A to point B, it will do that. It doesn't matter, it's very focused. If let's say a cat wants to jump onto a ledge and they miss the ledge and they hit the ground, they don't care. They'll figure out another way to get up on that ledge. They'll go another way. And they don't lay on the floor embarrassed. They don't go, oh my gosh, what are the other cats gonna think? They don't have complexes. My collar, does it look good on me? Does it make me look fat? Cats don't care about what other people think. They got a goal, they go for it. So you got a goal, don't worry about what other people think. You hit a wall, you fall down on the ground, get yourself back up, figure out another way to go to your goal. And here's the third thing I learned about cats is that they like to have fun. You, you give them a little a light on the ground, a little laser thing, they'll chase that crazy. A box, hours of enjoyment. You give a cat a box, they love the box. I don't know why, but they, they will make a box fun. As a matter of fact, it doesn't matter how big the box is, it could be a small box where the head can't even fit in the box and they will somehow get their little tushy in that box. Cats like to have fun. We gotta learn from this. By the way, if you're thinking about getting a cat now after this video, uh, don't, don't put any important papers in your box, like a will or family photos that are irreplaceable because you might as well put it in a wood chipper because that's what the cat's gonna do with the paper in the box. This I know. So, to summarize, we gotta have fun in our life if we wanna have a life worth smiling about. We go after our goals, don't worry about what other people think, and you fall on the ground, pick yourself up, figure out another way. And the third thing is slow down, be present, relax, quiet the noise in your head. I hope this helped you, have a wonderful day, and of course, don't forget to keep smiling.